<laughs> Hello, and welcome, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where unfortunately I have to do a few tiny things. So yeah, we're going to the Colosseum. It's that little place over to the left, which hasn't been uncovered yet. Put my mouse cursor, I don't want that on the screen. The reason we're going there is... Oh, this actually slows him down. Like, every part of them hurts me. Even the fucking handle is... Stupid hammer. Dingus. Dingus Khan. That's all he is. How is that dark meta fucking morphosis? I do up, then forward down, and that's it. Ah, I'm so sick of how inconsistent these spells controls are. They're so good. Oh yeah, the Colosseum is right through here. Orlax's place is somewhere completely different, isn't it? So up there, probably? I don't know. Oh. I'm sorry, but you kind of blended into the flames. Ah, uh, the form of mist, which looks nothing like mist. That's a little swap side. I'm not interested in doing that right now. Ooh, 100 bucks. Wonder, what was the boss of this area again? Mm. I think I stick with the holy water anyway. Ugh. What a nice jello tune. Although I'm gonna have to turn on the sound a bit because the amount of frickin' the amount of times these people start complaining about that is obnoxious. Actually, doesn't system let me change... No, system does not let me change individual volumes. That's kind of odd. She's a hunting girl. She's just a hunting girl living in a hunting world. Ten percent? or t Oh, no, ten oh four. Hmm. Yeah, we only got like three... It already, the bass sound was already set at 3, because I'm too lazy to change the volume settings on the thing itself. Oh, who's that guy? Whoever he is, he's gone now. Hello there, hunting girl. The blood cloak. It sucks! Converts damage to hearts. That doesn't even sound all that good. Come to think of it. Hitbox on everything is so primitive. Like, oh, you hit the handle of a random weapon? That hurts you. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Nothing quite like enemies with unreasonably long. Oh god damn it! How did I not make that jump? <laughs> but this elevator won't move at all. In order to keep today's video nice and snappy, damn it, that's a freaking tutorial I'm using. 
It's on color theory. Specifically, color theory and the shading of an object. It's really nice. I'll put a link in the video description. So you can look it up if you want to see how uh, you can get some cool... No, not Owl Knight! I loved Owl Knight. Anyway. Nothing to lose your head over! Get it? Because it's a joke. Eat shit and die, owl. Now everything is exploding. Oh, don't worry, there's a safe spot like right above here. I got a thousand buckaroonies for it, though. The shield rod! I've been waiting for this one. For a while. <sighs> it doesn't do much, does it? It's, it's kind of it's kind of trash, but... Uh, becomes a little bit better when you take out a shield first. Oh, God damn it! That's not... It's not how it's supposed to work. God damn it, how does the shield rod work again? <laughs> oh! Because it's a completely different technique. Fuck. It's actually this. I now have... What do I get? Oh, I get a lot of defense, I guess. Let me actually look at the page so I can do this a little bit simpler. I think only one other shield, so it doesn't really matter. There's a better way to do this. Ah, I have three shields, okay. Okay. Actually, that's an that's an attack up. Huh, twenty attack. That's not bad. Um, what's the fight on? Herald shield, which is projectile block gains hearts. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Either way, that's some cool stuff. Um, it's the attack buff and the defense buff that really make it kind of useful. Um, now I want... Was it a short sword? Oh, it's just a sword. Now we do club. Wait, if it's not a club, then what the fuck is it? I won't be using the, the thing that much, though. I think I'm just going to do the boss in this area, and then we're done. Just keep clicking around all over the place. Oh god, what the fuck? What is wrong with my brain today? Yeah. 
Don't ask me why, there's just two save points in this area. Here's one we haven't seen yet. That is a lightning attack, and it is quite powerful, but also heart intense. As in, it will drain the ever-loving crap out of your hearts. Now we can... We, oh no, we go in this airway to get there, okay. Sorry, I want to be up here for a while. It's right next to Confession, how fitting. Look, what is this jazzy tune? Like, I have nothing against a nice jazzy tune, it's just that... I don't equate giant colossal arena with jazzy tunes. And so my walker armor becomes better with every step. That's weird, isn't it? I think it has to do with the way that uh, walkthrough platforms work in terms of collision. Ah, the olden days, and people weren't quite sure if they should make the loading and saving stuff faster or not. Actually, these are all shit that I want, really. Especially an extra five hearts, because I actually should have stuck with the holy water. But showing off this new kit is probably more important than making it through this battle alive. You get a library card in case you decide to be an idiot. <laughs> Who are you? That's Richter Belmont. Come forth from the gates of hell. How oh, man? You're a Belmont. Attack. Rid my castle of this pest. <laughs> Yeah, these guys, by the way, are again regular enemies repurposed for boss fights, and it feels kind of weird. A Belmont for certain. So he says he's the lord of this castle. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense, Alucard. That makes a whole lot of sense. Oh yeah, it's both. Now we can fly! At an exhaustingly slow pace. Oh yeah! You gotta get an upgrade to use it longer, isn't that it? <sighs> Where's the solo? So I can't... Fuck! Where's the bat stuff again? Hmm. Let me take a quick a glance at the map so I know where to go next. Because as much as I'm... Oh yeah, I remember now. We need to go all the way back to the library. Which is, I think, where we got that library card. You know, we can do that in like a, in like a, a, a jump and a skip. We'll be there. And we'll get this done. Where is it? Oh, god damn it. It just... Fuck to put my holy water at the bottom? Yep. At the bottom. Do I have any money? Do I have any gems? I have a Zerkin. Well fuck me then. I had one Zerkin. But yeah, this is a very uh, MP intensive uh, heart intensive item. It's generalized. Okay, so assume we get the soul of the bat and then we can start doing actually interesting stuff. So at the risk of making this a long episode, 
I'll just pause it. Again, he has a sword. I don't get that. But now we have all the transformations. We can actually do one more thing and we can get a different ally. Which is like right beside this place. So I'll see you in a moment. Isn't that just lovely? For our triple troubles, we get some junk and the fairy card. Which means the demon, who has been serving us quite well so far, gets to scoot along because I kind of want to use my fairy. She uses all kinds of healing items on you and basically keeps your life easy. She's also the user of the magic hammer, which unpetrifies you. Which is not that great, because petrification generally doesn't do much unless you're like in a real big pickle. But, here you go. We now have a light, nice little lady following us, making sure we, we stay in tip-top shape. Um, so that's it then. I got the wings are semi-transparent because of the crystal cape. But next time, uh, we got a lot of stuff we can do now! In fact, this unlocks most, if not all, of the things we can do in this in this side of the castle. Yeah, we can get just about anywhere now. Um, so yeah! I guess next time we'll go and clean some shit up! Hmm. Yeah. Next time. See you then.